All right, so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called In the Realm of Senses. Uh, this is a 1976 Japanese flick. Uh, there's a lot of hardcore sex in this. So I don't know how it's escaped the Japanese censors unless they produced it somewhere else besides Japan, I'm guessing. Um, all the Japanese women in this are extremely hot, especially the, uh, the dude's wife. Um, this is about a dude, I guess his name is Kichi-san, and um, he's living in uh, imperialist Japan, 1936. He's kind of an outcast and a weirdo. He, he's, uh, he's like a nymphomaniac. He just likes to sit home, drink sake, and uh, engage in kinky sex, which is uh, pretty cool. I mean, that's... Uh, that's what Japanese dude is all about. Unfortunately, you, you get to see his dingling quite a bit, so it's kind of like Japanese version of uh, Radley, Radley Mesker film, or maybe uh, Emmanuel Five, Emmanuel Six, Japanese version, that kind of thing. Uh, but the Japanese women in this definitely make it worthwhile, especially the dude's wife, who has hairy armpits. Uh, she's the hottest one in this, and. Uh, definitely worth, worth watching if you catch like two minutes of her at, um, going at it that's uh, that's worth five stars right there in my opinion but um, oddly enough this movie reminded me of Audition it's almost like Audition ripped off this movie um, I'm not going to spoil the ending but um, you know there isn't much plot until the end I mean uh, it's mostly build up from that point on. It's it's just lots of hardcore sex, like I said, a lot of weird stuff. Like she she asks him to pee inside her, and uh, there's a lot of choking and stuff. S and M, uh, and just weird stuff like uh, Radley Mesker type stuff. Um. There's there's a lot of unwatchable scenes in this. Um, well, there there are a couple of scenes like that, and um, yeah, this one was really tough to watch. I mean, it made me squirm. But um, great flick. I mean, um, I I loved audition and I love this one too. It's uh, kind of throws you off. I mean. Uh, beginning is just the the first hour 40 minutes is just all hardcore sex and then it starts to uh, unravel from there um, and so um, it's pretty cool when the dude's walking down the street and um, there's a lot of military flag waving stuff marching going on and he's just kind of walking down the street with his head down like he doesn't belong in society, Jap Japan in 1936. So that was pretty cool. Um, you don't really see that kind of uh, political statement in uh, in a porno flick. So it's kind of uh, kind of makes you think a little bit. Um, yeah, this was a great movie. I I highly recommend it, especially if you're into cult movies like I am <laughs> but um, the sound the uh, the musical score was great with that Japanese uh, guitar whatever it's called bing, 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 bing. that kind of thing that was pretty cool um, and the cin cinematography is great I mean uh, the um, the gal with the red robe, she's uh that that was a great scene. And then uh I don't know. Uh I guess the red color is sort of a precursor to of things to come. It's almost like a symbol. But um yeah, this one She's about a, a prostitute. I guess she pretends to get married to this dude who's a 
already married to somebody else, much hotter woman, and um, like I say, he just likes to have sex and uh, drink sake all day, which is cool. I mean, uh, that's what I'd do if I lived in uh, Japan in 1936. There's nothing better to do, right? Um, so yeah, then he picks out this uh, prostitute girl. I guess he meets her at some um, some kind of Japanese inn or like a like a food service place. I'm not sh sure exactly what kind of place it is. Maybe it's, it's just a whorehouse, but um, she he he like hires her for uh, at first for um, like to help. Uh, to help keep the house clean, right? But um, then he wants to marry her in this kind of sham marriage because I guess her husband had a failed business or something. Uh, it's hard to find uh, follow the translation in this or to figure out what's going on. But um, so I guess they have a sham marriage, and and uh, meanwhile his wife wants her to stick around. Um, because I guess it's uh, helping their love making or whatever, but um, that's a bad idea. He's much younger than she is, and she's kind of uh, she's kind of a little weird. She got like a scorpion tattoo on her ear, and uh, yeah, you just have to see what happens at the end. Um, So that's about it. Uh, I was going to take a nap this afternoon, but I wanted to see the ending because I knew it was going to build up to something big, and it did. So cool. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Um, you have to check it out and uh, tell me what you think. Maybe if you understand Japanese, you probably follow the story better than I did because, like I said, it probably... The subtitles probably got lost in translations. Those were, subtitles weren't too good. Unless I told you the story right, but it was confusing to me at, at first. So that's it. Have a good day. I'm going to watch 2012 now um, with John Cusack. Cool. Laters.